So in this video, I'm going to talk about the five popular types of business loans. I'm also going to talk about how you can get up to $5 million without any real estate. Stay tuned. All right, so let's talk about the five most popular types of business loans today. What's happening in the now? It's never been a better time to access capital, money, financing for your business. So these are the most popular ones that are happening right now today. Business term loans, SBA loans, equipment financing, asset-based loans, and business lines of credit. Those are really the five most popular deals and loan programs that are getting funded today, and those are the most that we're doing here uh, at my company. Business term loans are great. They go from as short as usually one year, and they're going out to about three years now, sometimes five, but most lenders are giving one, two, and three-year options. That's real. That's what's happening right now in the now. A lot of these payments are now auto-deducted right from your bank account. That's pretty much where the world of financing has gone through. Everything's auto ach um, some of them are monthly payments, some of them are bi-monthly, and some of them are weekly. There's nothing really wrong with either, and to be honest, a lot of owners push for like a monthly payment. Having it come out weekly, it makes it really simple, clean, it actually helps your cash flow. So there's nothing wrong with that, but there are different options around that. Um, on a term loan, you can get up to about $5 million today without needing any type of real estate collateral or other types of um, assets. Um, in your business, which is really cool. So purely based on cash flow. Um, some will base it on your financials. Some will base it on cash flow. Up to about 150000 to 250000 You can typically get a qualified with using only three to six months of bank statements for your business and a simple application. There's a lot of lending options out there for that. Once you go north of about $250,000, um, you'll need your financial info. So usually last year, year-to-date financials, and usually a most recent tax return. Still, not a lot of documentation, approvals, same day, 24 hours, 48 hours. You get approved very quickly, and you get funded in hours and days, depending on the loan size. Also, a little fun fact, make sure you ask. A lot of lenders will offer you an early payment discount if you pay off early, but sometimes it has to be in your agreement. They're not standard in there. So make sure you ask for that and work that into your deal. Um, and you can always ask a member of my team about that as well, too. All right, next up, SBA loans. Uh, there's two types of SBA loans. There's the 504, which is typically used to purchase real estate, 25-year terms, super low rates, prime plus 1% to 3%. Um, if you're buying a business and there's real estate attached to it, 25 years, you only have to put down 10%. Unbelievable. Something you should definitely consider and look at if you're looking to buy real estate. Now, if you don't have real estate or you're not looking to buy real estate, you can utilize the SBA 7A. It goes all the way up to $5 million without real estate. You can use it to acquire a business. You can use it to refinance debt and take out working capital. If you're buying a business, um, you need to put down 10%, but only 10%, which is unbelievable. But no matter which SBA deal you're going with, you need to be profitable. If you're buying a business, that business needs to be profitable, and so does yours. There's some other things that go along with this. There's SBA guidelines. So banks do SBA loans. There's also non-bank lenders that all they focus on are SBA transactions. So if you've gotten turned down from like one lender for an SBA deal, it doesn't mean that you'll be turned down from everyone for an SBA. Some lenders um, have their own set of guidelines that they adhere to when they're doing SBA loans. So they still have to do them accordingly to the government guidelines that the SBA sets, but some lenders you know, only want to do up to 350000 without real estate. Some lenders will go all the way up to $5 million on an SBA deal without any real estate as long as your, your business can handle the debt load. So every lender looks at this a little bit differently. That's why you need to make sure you're with the right lender. Next up is equipment financing. A really great tool, super underutilized by most business owners, which I don't understand. There's just no one out there talking about this stuff, hence why I created Grow by Joe to help you grow better and grow smarter. If you own a business and you're buying equipment, 
you should only be doing that through equipment financing. It makes so much sense, and here's why. There's a bunch of different lenders out there. All they do is finance equipment. You can finance equipment all the way out to a five-year repayment term, monthly payments, super low rates, um, and there's so many tax advantages to financing equipment. And you can you know, finance all that equipment, not lay any money out of your cash flow, and then you can decide to depreciate all that, uh, depreciate all that equipment in that year. That's amazing. But when you finance equipment, the financing, the collateral, is tied to that piece of equipment. So you don't lock up or encumber the rest of your business. So if you do like a term loan or a line of credit or an SBA loan and you use that to buy equipment and you're only using it to buy equipment, a lot of times you can just use an equipment lender and you leave the rest of your cash flow, your receivables untouched so you can do other forms of financing. So if you're buying equipment, consider equipment financing. Next up um, is an asset-based loan. So um, asset-based loans are pretty much what it sounds like. You need assets. But what a lot of people don't realize, there's asset-based lenders out there, and your receivables, your B2B receivables are assets. Most owners don't understand this. When they hear asset-based loans, they think real estate. They think big pieces of equipment. Now, you can incorporate real estate and big pieces of equipment into an asset-based loan um, to help qualify you for more money, you can leverage those receivables um, and get qualified for a loan um, for a line of credit or an ongoing, some sort of ongoing um, credit line purely based on just receivables. So something that really should be considered. Um, if you've got high quality you know, B2B receivables, what's really great about that is you can secure a really large ongoing line that's tied to those receivables and get really favorable terms. So something that you should seriously consider. And then last but not least is a business line of credit. 08, 09 recession crashed. Revolving lines of credit completely disappeared. Uh, and it like took forever for them to finally come back. So finally a few years ago, lenders started finally coming back out with revolving lines of credit. Banks and non-bank lenders. There's a lot of non-bank lending options out there today for true revolving lines of credit, where the cost is like only you know, 1% you know, per month. You can pull money, pay it back down. You only pay for what you use. Every business should have a credit line and some sort of you know, money on the sideline for when opportunity strikes or a challenge happens and you need money yesterday. So credit line is a really great option. You know, if you're constantly buying and selling product, inventory, doing jobs, laying out money, getting paid back, a revolving line of credit is definitely something that you should uh, absolutely consider. All right, so those are the five most popular business loans that are happening today. Please understand that there's a lot of moving parts and there's a lot of different things that will make up what you get qualified for or what you won't get qualified for. And also, lenders are always changing their guidelines. So if you have further questions, if you're unsure, that's okay. You're good at your business and financing, leave that to us. Check out you know, the link below, get connected with someone on my team. They'll be more than happy to talk through whatever your opportunity is in your business and explain what financing options may or may not be right for you. Thanks for tuning in to Grow by Joe. We'll talk soon. Be well.